Okay. Hi there. We are sitting on a random planet on the universe. And today we are going to learn how we can create a Web3 wallet on Polygon Mumbai testnet. Yeah. So, the tech stacks we are using right now is EtherJS version 5, ReactJS. And we are writing code on TypeScript for this time being. And for styling, I am using Tailwind CSS. And this is not a follow along course. This is where I'm going to explain you the code from my VS code and on the console of the browser. Okay. And GitHub will be linked in the description. So you can go and check it out. And if you are facing any problems, any doubt, you can always hit me up there. Also, also don't forget to give it a star on GitHub. Okay, cool. Let's get going. Cool. First, let me give you a demo of the project. The project is divided into three parts. First part is here. That is create account or recover account. We can create new account and we can recover our pre-existing account that is on the Ethereum blockchain. In the second part, we are going to send Ethereum from this account to another account. And in the third part, we are going to fetch few transactions from Polygon scan or Mumbai.polygon scan. Okay. So first demo is quick demo of our project that is if we click create account a new account is created and this is the wallet address of that account and this is 12 phrase mnemonic of that account okay also known as seed play this account is actually created on ethereum blockchain okay and if you come to this part recover account i'll show you some pre-existing account on the ethereum blockchain i'll import that account i'll input that account or the 12 phase mnemonic from from my metamask wallet browser extension okay okay you can see here i am copying my 12 phase mnemonic and i'll paste here so this is a demo account you cannot do anything with it i'll delete it later on okay i have pasted it and i'll click submit okay so i have successfully recovered the account you can see this is the wallet address here we can match it here yeah this is the wallet address and this is the wallet address and also you can see the balance here balance here and balance here okay so now come to the second part this is the second part till this button and in the second part we are actually fetching balance from the blockchain and also we can send uh send ethereum or send balance to another account by pasting wallet address here and amount here and in the third part we are fetching transaction data from uh, polygon scan okay we are fetching latest transaction data from polygon scan using polygon scan api okay let's type i don't think this is a very beginner friendly course or video i'm going to explain you the most important functions only okay so when we click create account you can see the objects it's coming here and if we come to our code okay this off okay if we come to our code we'll see that we are calling this generate account function so whenever we are going to you can see that we are importing that function from another file. If we go to that file, we'll see um, in the generate account function, we are taking input of, we're taking inputs as a parameter seed phrase and uh, index. Okay. Why seed phrase is empty? Because for the two functionalities, that is create account and recover account, we are going to use the same function. Why? Because in the code, we cannot repeat ourselves. Okay. So if the seed phrase is empty whenever we are calling that function so we'll create a new seed phrase with the help of wallet object that is coming from our ethers.js packet cool okay so with the help of that seed phrase we are going to create our new wallet by calling this 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 and why and why are these things such a mess okay uh these things because we are checking here that 
the coming data is a private key or not because we are not supposed to public the private key so we are taking these precautions okay here we are catching a variable from wallet object that we just created here and we are creating a, a, another object named account using address private key that we created here and balance and so on okay and we are returning them as an okay so no no we are returning them account seed phase so that we can import them from another file that we are importing here cool okay and is there anything left for this segment yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't think so okay so you can see for recovering we are also calling that function along with this exist pre-existing seed phase that we have just already seen in the demo section cool i think i should explain the next segment okay function what we are gonna do is we are gonna fetch balance of our account and we are gonna send we can send some ethers to another account if we want we can paste address here and we can set amount here okay so this is the second part till the button okay yeah and am i missing something oh uh, i don't think so let me show you code okay so if we see here this is the function we are fetching the balance with so we need an rpc you are a provider or node provider simply like alchemy or infura and so on so the c this variable we are fetching data using that our account address and node provider that we have created and we are uh, using that data to put it inside our use state hook okay so now you can ask what is this function okay so if we simply don't use that and if we use account balance like this so if we submit this and you will see the error like this even the data will come like this so to handle that thing what we do is we use this function that is here here okay so now we are going to see how we can send ethereum from this account to another account for that we'll have to see transfer and here we are using try catch okay so here the most important function is this and rest of the thing is for react yeah we are importing this function from another file let me show you yeah so if you see this yeah we are using chain id and rpc url provider and we are generating uh, we are generating our wallet here so and using that wallet we are sending a transaction and this is how our raw transaction is created using javascript okay so we'll wait for the transaction to happen and yeah that's it that's it yep let's see the third portion okay so let me explain you the third part so what is there in the third part in the third part we are fetching data from polygon scan using polygon scan api we are fetching a last few transaction data so why is there only one data only one transaction data right so that is because we have that is because only one transaction has been happened with this address that is i have sent from this account to this account this much amount of ether so let me explain you the code okay yeah if you see this function we are created we have created an endpoint using 
wallet address and API key token. Okay, and we have created again an URL with this and this base URL. Okay, so now we are trying to fetch data from this URL using Axios. Okay, so here you need a basic understanding of backend backend development and so now we are setting this data inside this use repo yeah it's easy now i'll show you how you can get api key token if you come polygon scan here you will have to create account and when you go to api keys here you can create your api key and you take that api key token and put it here yeah so now we are going to learn how we can create a browser extension with this so for that we need to do something like this npm run build so this will create a build folder here which we are not gonna push to github and wait for it to happen i'll show you something Okay. it's happening we this has happened okay so here will there will be a file named manifest.json you can copy paste the data but this file is a must have inside this folder so now we'll come to the browser and we'll go to the extension and we'll click load unpack and we'll come to the folder We'll come to the project folder and we'll select a build folder and we'll come inside the build folder and we'll select the folder after coming inside the build folder and here we can see our extension you will have to turn it on and here we'll see our extension and we'll pin it and when you click it we'll see this i am not very good with stylings and all okay so if we click create account We'll see this thing, and if we click recover account, we'll and let me copy this the data that we're dealing with from MetaMask. Yeah, if we submit this, we'll see everything is here, and even the balance is here, the transaction data is here. So, yeah, this is how you can do it. Cool. I think you have understood the deal how, how we can do this, and Till the next time. Yeah. Bye.